This is Julianne, NEMSIS Data Promotions Officer. In this third segment, I want to show you how to clarify some of the data elements you may want to explore in the cube. We do this by filtering down to what we want or filtering out what we don't want. I'm putting count of events over into the results area, as you learned in the previous video. And today we're going to look at EMS activations that were called into dispatch as a traffic accident. I can either use the search bar or I can come down to EMS unit dispatch information and select complaint reported by dispatch. In our results area, I can expand and look at the 42 different categories that dispatch puts their complaints into. Now, as that is very interesting, I'm wanting to explore one particular issue. So I'm going to filter out all of those other items. I'm going to do that by coming over here to the rows and I'm going to drag and drop complaint down into the filter section. Don't worry, it leaves it in the rows for me as well, but it gives me this box up here that gives me some options for different things. I'm going to use that blue drop down, expand all, and now I can just select traffic accidents. That takes out all the other variables and leaves me just traffic transportation incident. Now what if I wanted two variables or three variables? I can click this and give us a little multi-check there, do the drop down box, expand, and now I can look at multiple variables. So let's look at uh, traffic incident and traumatic injury. That gives me both variables to work with, but let's take it back just to traffic accident. Right there. Okay, moving on. Now we're going to find the vehicular injury. You can either search again or move down here to injury information, expand vehicular indicator and select vehicular injury risk factor. Again, I can expand all and look at all of the other injury risk factors, but I'm specifically interested in crash ejection. Now, just like we did with the last one, we're going to filter this. I'm going to drag and drop vehicular into filters, and it gives me this box up here. Blue drop down arrow, expand all, and let's look at crash ejection. That gives me the number of EMS activations since January 1st, 2017, where there was a crash ejection, partial or complete, from a vehicle in a traffic transportation incident reported to dispatch. Now, I'm still curious. I want to look at ages. So I've got a great base to work from now, but I'm going to explore a little bit more. Again, you can search for patient demographics age or you can expand patient demographics and select patient ages. I'm going to expand all and it gives me the groupings, pediatric, adult, elderly, not applicable, not recorded. Interesting. And I can expand each of those further, but in an effort to make that a little bit cleaner, you can come over here, expand patient ages, and it gives me a few more options. I can look just at age category, adult, pediatric, and elderly. I can take out age category and look just at age groupings. I can take out age groupings and I can look just in years. So it's the patient ages, the count of events. And if you scroll down, you're going to see that we still have traffic incident and crash ejection as elements. Now I'm going to look at this date a little bit more and I'm going to see that we progressively increase in number until we hit about 19. 19 seems to be our peak there and then it starts to calm down a little bit as we age. Now remember your numbers are going to be different since data is being added all the time. This is just a simple explanation of how you can clarify your data that you're exploring a couple of different ways. The next segment of this series is going to show you how to design a graph um, and then the one after that is going to show you how to export your data.
So for questions or support, click on the link below or find our contact information on the support page of the nemsis.org website. Send us an email, give us a call. We'd love to hear how we can better support your data needs. Thank you.